What's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. So I'm going to be doing a very quick update video on this Rite Aid toothpaste deal. And the only reason why is because Rite Aid tends to do this deal every three months or so. So I quickly wanted to explain to you guys how the overage works. I wanted to explain to you guys, you know, the gold status, the silver status, and the bronze status pricing. Because like I said, this deal does repeat itself. So next time you guys will kind of know, you know, how to use the overage, how to get overage, and how to, you know, use the benefits of the overage. So let's jump into Now for starters, I wanted to mention, guys, I completely missed. There are certain Colgate Total Toothpaste that are on promo this week. They are spend 10 and get $3 back in bonus cash so if you guys were to buy three of these you would get three dollars back and i think it's a limit of two so if you you're able to get six you'll get six dollars back and it'll be a six dollar money maker since the toothpaste is completely free but like i mentioned guys it's not on all the toothpaste it's only on certain colgate total so i know you guys already know the deal the toothpaste is on sale for 350 and with an in-ad coupon it takes off three dollars and then with the manufacturer coupon it takes off 50 cents making this completely free now that same deal always repeats itself at Rite Aid the prices and the coupon might be a little different but for most of the part it's always the same so they had that Colgate total on sale for $3.50 they had the optic white on sale for $3.50 and they also have the Colgate max fresh on sale for $3.50 now they normally have the Colgate total the whitening one the regular one it's normally a bigger size they normally have it on sale as well but for whatever reason this sale they decided not to put it on sale for $3.50 so that was a bummer but these three in store are ringing up as the sale price as three. Fifth. Now jumping into breaking down the overage for you guys, we are going to start off with the Colgate Total SF. Now these are the small shiny boxes and these are normally the ones that people do not go for. These regularly priced are $4.79. They're normally on sale for $3.50 when the whole, you know, free toothpaste deal goes on. But if you're a gold member, you get 20% off and if you're silver, you get 10% off. Now this percentage to get the percentage off, it just depends. If the sale price is greater than your percentage discount then you'll get the sale price so you guys can see here for this one specifically regularly they're 479 so 20% off would be 383 silver which would be 10% off would be 431 since these discounts are higher than the sale price the Rite Aid system will just go ahead and give you the sale price so you'll never get overage when buying these toothpaste but normally that's why Rite Aid puts a bonus cash offer for these so if you guys want to grab these and see if there's bonus cash offers you know for future references I already mentioned this week they do have one so you guys should definitely check that out if you guys want to get that bonus cash but for future references I would definitely recommend checking the tags to see if these offer bonus cash during the time that they're offering them now moving on to the optic white the optic white does give overage but that's only for gold status if you guys can see here the regular price is $3.99 sell price $3.50 gold status with 20% off you'll get it for $3.19 and silver status will get it for $3.59 with 10% off so the sale price is better than the 10% off here. So no overage for this one if you are silver status. But if you're gold status, you'll get it for $3.19. And that is going to give you $0.31 cents overage per toothpaste. So that is $2.17 when buying seven of these. So if you were going to go to Rite Aid and buy seven of these, you would have an overage of $2.17. Now, of course, you can use that towards a purchase. You can go ahead and grab a snack. You can grab another item. And those $2.17 will go towards that item that now lastly we have the colgate max fresh and probably my favorite this one regular price is 379 the sale price is 350 of course gold status gets it for 303 which with a 20 percent off and silver gets it for 341 so for this one gold and silver will be receiving the discounted price now for gold that would be 47 cents overage per toothpaste so if you were buying seven in a transaction you would have three dollars and 29 cents in overage for silver status it's seven cents in overage per toothpaste so if you were to buy seven you would have 63 cents in overage not a whole lot but something something and right? just to show you guys my receipts so there's no doubt here we have the colgate total we have the little shiny boxes you see it was 350 no discount for this one right here we have the optic whites this is for gold status and it came out to 319 so i did have some overage that went towards my total to my subtotal here so this originally was supposed to be like around 25 dollars but because I had that overage from the toothpaste it came out a little less making my whole transaction you know 
better than expected. And then over here, we have the Colgate Max Fresh. We have it for $3.41. This account is silver. I did have a bit of overage for that. I had the couple of cents. I did grab seven toothpaste, so I had 63 cents in overage from this. Moving on to my favorite transaction. I actually did this one this morning. It's for the Colgate Max Fresh, and this is for the gold status account. So I got it for $3.03. Now, I didn't buy any other items. Like, I didn't do a tie deal with this. I only ended up getting the toothpaste. Now, remember what we said, guys. If we're getting seven of these with the gold status, your overage is $3.29. Now, like I said, I wasn't grabbing anything else. So my subtotal on this transaction was actually negative $3.29. A dollar and seventy three went into tax, so the store was actually owing me a dollar and nine cents. But they're not allowed to give you that money; like they can't just give it to you. You have to get something to cover the overage, and this is why you have to plan accordingly. So that way, when you get to the register, they're not looking at you like you know. Most cashiers are shocked about overage; they don't know that it's possible. So what I had to do, I had to get a gum. It was one twenty seven. So it then my subtotal came to negative 155. That 155 went into the tax and then my subtotal came out to 18 cents. And then that's what I paid for this transaction, 18 cents. Now, like I mentioned a few times, this was possible because what I did was I gave the cashier my toothpaste. I gave the cashier the in-ad coupons plus the manufacturer coupons. They scanned all the items. They scanned all the coupons and then I put in my phone number. If you put in your phone number before and you give all these coupons, one of the coupons will beep. It will not accept it because it, it's, it will say that your subtotal is already at zero and they can't take any more coupons. But when you put in your phone number last, it'll go into a negative subtotal and then that'll go into your tax. But always keep in mind guys, your subtotal can never be higher than your tax because or else you're not gonna be able to like close out the transaction. You are gonna have to get a filler item. So I always recommend getting some Something small I always get a candy or a gum that way you only end up paying a couple of cents now if you guys want to do it like how I did my first original transaction where we did a whole nother transaction we you know we got the Tide Pods now you guys can definitely do that and the overage will go into your subtotal and if you guys are doing that if you know you're doing a whole nother deal you know you're getting some Tide Pods or you're getting you know something that you need you do not have to worry about putting your phone number in last you can just go ahead and put in your phone number because that overage will just automatically go into you know the other items that you're purchasing. All right, guys, that's gonna be the end of this video. I hope that was all extremely helpful. And keep in mind, overage does not only apply to toothpaste. Overage applies to anything in store. So if you know the value of your coupons is high, higher than the item, then you know you're gonna have overage on that item. Now, if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate. Leave them down in the comments below. And thanks so much for watching.